Welcome back. Since my last video, I took out this piece of tubing, welded a bellows in there. That just takes the tension off this V-band. So I'm happy with how the exhaust is. The hot side is basically done. The only thing I have to do still is put the tailpipe on. So for today, the project is start on the cold side. So it'll be aluminum tubing from the turbo to the intercooler to the intake manifold. For the first tube coming out of the turbo, there's a V-band here. This is an aluminum, um, so connects to the turbo with a V-band. Then there's this aluminum thing here. It's got a, a flange on it, so you actually could hit it. You could connect a silicone coupler to this. So I thought about doing a 90 degree silicone, but instead of that, what I'm going to do is weld this three and a half inch aluminum tubing to this V-band. And then from the bottom down here, I'll reduce it down with this three and a half inch to a three inch, and that'll run into the intercooler. Intercooler, most of the tubing I have is the three inch. So from the three and a half to here, it'll be a 90 degree three and a half then reduce down to the straight three inch. So this flange is just a piece of aluminum. It's got an O-ring in it. Obviously I'm going to take the O-ring out before I weld it up. I was a bit worried about how this would weld up, but it actually welds up pretty easy. This aluminum is uh, from Vibrant. I can't remember who made the flange, but whoever did it, the aluminum is uh, decent quality and it takes together uh, pretty easy. Not to... On the other end of the tubing, I've welded a bead here and uh, that's just to seal the silicone coupler better. Is that required? I have no idea. I've seen some people do that. Let me know if you think that's a waste of time or if it's necessary for this. Uh, I'm not running a lot of boosts. I plan on doing probably around eight pounds. So does it need this bead? I'm not sure, but uh, I put it on anyway, we'll see. So the tubing from the turbo to the intercooler is now done. 3.5 inch, 3.5 to 3, 3 inch. I welded two 3 inches together just to get a bit of extra length. And then the 90 into the intercooler. Coming out of the intercooler, I'm going to build this tubing backwards. One of the things about these LS engines is that the intake manifold can be flipped around. I wasn't sure exactly which way I was going to have it, but I'm going to leave it this way for now. Um, mostly because I think it'll be the least amount of tubing. Now, what I've done is, this is a 4 inch 
uh, coupler going into the intake manifold. I have this four inch uh, 90 degree. I cut about, I don't know, about an inch, maybe two inches off the end, just to shorten it up. Cause that's gonna go in there. And the thing is it has to stay fairly tight to the engine because the prop is gonna be here and it's gonna be spinning around. So obviously I can't have the tubing coming out into the prop and I want it as far away as possible. Once again, I welded a bead on these, whether it's worth it or not. In this case, it's pretty important that this tubing doesn't separate because I don't want it to separate and then come off into the prop. So the plan right now is I'll put that, that'll come down there. And then over here, I'll reduce it down from four inch to three inch and then uh, bring it down into the cooler. And I changed my mind. So I flipped the intake manifold around just to see how it would go the other way. And it actually lays out not too bad. So still using the same 90 degree at the top. I'll add another 90 here. And then connecting it to the intercooler, it'll be fine. I just gotta fill this gap between there and there. So I think I'll, I'll put something together to fill that gap. And uh, the advantage of doing it this way is it's farther from the prop. So just in case these separate, it's not going to fly into the prop, at least not immediately. This is the tube that's going to run from the intercooler to the intake manifold. Obviously I had to put it together from a bunch of pieces. That's just because I didn't have enough long straight ones. I might replace it one day with a single straight tube up to here and then the 90 after that. But um, that would just be for aesthetics. This should work just fine and it's what I had right now. So I'll go with it and if it ever bothers me enough, I'll replace it with something that looks a bit nicer. So that's how the tube's gonna lay from the intercooler up into this, uh, bring it up to four inches and then four inches into the intake manifold. So I think that'll work. I want it far away from exhaust. I think that's far away there. Definitely far from here. For the air intake, I'm going to use this filter. This is an AFE. It's a dry, um, reusable filter. So it's some sort of cotton, I think. Anyway, it's not oiled and it's reusable. So this is definitely the filter I'm going to use. One thing I'm not decided on yet is how I'm going to mount it. What I mean by that is 
I could just leave it like that. Or I might put an elbow on here and bring it down here. This is a five inch piece of um, exhaust tubing. This is mild steel, aluminum coated, I think. So it came with a um, gray section here. I trimmed it down on the bandsaw, so there's just a tiny little lip that actually will hold that pretty nicely. And I think this is, will be the setup for the air filter. The advantage of running it this way is hopefully just keeps it out of the way. This angle obviously can change whichever way I want to put it whenever I tighten it down with clamps. But I think that's how I'm going to do it. And as you may have noticed, I haven't really clamped anything down yet. All these silicone couplings, they all need clamps. I did buy a whole bunch of clamps. Um, those came from Summit. This universal kit also came with a bunch of clamps. The ones I got from Summit, I bought all nice ones. So they're all stainless steel, these uh, T-bolt clamps. The problem with these ones is I ordered them too small. So the range is 4.8 to 5. I thought going on to a 5 inch coupler that would fit. That's clearly wrong. I learned that lesson the hard way. So I could order some new clamps. They'll be slightly bigger. These ones are just, just a bit too small to fit. So probably five and a quarter inch is what I need to do. So learn that one, that'll be, well, it's not gonna break the bank, but it's uh, a bit of money spent on these that I won't use. I'll keep these anyway, returning things from Canada back to Summit. It's not a huge hassle, but um, for something like this, it takes more time than it's worth. I'll keep all these things, you know, for a future project. Hopefully I'll use them at some point. So the tubing for the turbo is done. It's plumbed down to the intercooler. Well, obviously air comes in the intake, gets compressed, goes to the intercooler, comes back out gets crammed in the intake manifold. Next step is I'm going to run the oil lines to the turbo. Thanks for watching.